putting a pencil to a piece of paper or some surface. A lot of walls when I was a child. We can all agree that this man has reached icon level in the acting scene and because of how easy it is for him to deliver top tier acting performance. It makes it easy for most people to overlook his other talents, when in reality, acting is only where it begins. And now he has decided to open up about other aspects of his artistic personality and he said some pretty interesting stuff. So you don't want to miss this. I was always kind of uh, trying to escape into these little drawings and everything. So that, that's been in my life for since I can ever, since I can remember. Over the years, Johnny Depp has repeatedly been recognized by some of the biggest names across every industry for his acting prowess. But now the tides have changed for the actor, as he appears to be moving forward in a different sphere of his life, as he has now been recognized by Castle Fine Art, one of the largest art platforms in the world. And this time, he got recognized for his ability to create magic with a paint and a brush. Painting. Um, but just, uh, you know, you paint it and you Put it off to the side. You see, the thing about Johnny is that he has always been an artist with the brush, but he has always kept it away from the world and just limited it to his personal enjoyment. And while this seemed like a selfish reason to deprive the world of seeing his art, the actor actually had a pretty good reason for doing things that way. Explaining why he chose to keep his paintings away from the world, the actor said, Or succeeding, having success in one field, and then using that to uh, instigate some other thing altogether. I, 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 was, um, I was afraid of that, you know. I had, I had far too much respect for art to try to put myself in, into that world. And now that his artistic side has finally gained major recognition, the actor is nothing but excited about the fact that his creations, which features some of his biggest heroes, have been able to make it to one of the largest art coalitions in the world. And as amazing as reaching that feat may seem, there's a lot more on Johnny's art. Earlier this year, in a bid to connect more with his fans in a way that is unrelated to the battle between him and his ex-wife, the actor actually launched into the NFT space and released some of his paintings to the world in the form of non-fungible tokens. Boy have they racked up quite the value. These tokens are verifiable digital assets traded using blockchain technology, under the collection name Never Fear Truth. The portraits, developed from original artworks by Depp and then embellished and animated, include Johnny himself, Marlon Brando, Elizabeth Taylor, Hunter S. Thompson, Heath Ledger, his daughter Lily Rose Depp, Tim Burton, Johnny's late dog Moo and a fictional character created by his son called Bunnyman. In fact, following the release of this part of himself to the world, the iconic actor actually gave a statement on what we've been talking about since, he said, I've always used art to express my feelings and to reflect on those who matter most to me, like my family, friends and people I admire. My paintings surround my life, but I kept them to myself and limited myself. No one should ever limit themselves. Depp's style is a mix of pop and street art, with images of pop culture figures rendered in vibrant colors. The collection is the first public look at his paintings, which are said to be reflections of the individual's character as Depp sees it. And as impressive as all of this already is, there's even more. You see, being the amazing person he is, the actor revealed that a major percentage of all proceeds from the sales will be donated to charities including the Los Angeles Children's Hospital, Great Ormond Street Children's Hospital, the Elizabeth Taylor AIDS Foundation and the Gonzo Trust, created in the memory of Depp's hero Hunter S. Thompson. And just like he said, he has now donated over a million dollars across all of those charities and several others. Talk about a great guy. Well, the man showing this part of his person to the world led to a lot of people talking. Like this fan who wrote, I love how he's not giving any interviews to the press, but continuously communicates with his audience. A great opportunity for everyone to stop talking about the trial and just moving on to better things. With this guy, there's just always something to love. That's it for now. See you on the next one.